What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna go through how Pop Smoke's Welcome to the Party was made on FL Studio. If you're watching this along on the Premiere Gang, Welcome back. Welcome to the party samples this Japanese song which came out in 2008 and it samples this part at around 205 seconds. This is what it sounds like in the playlist. Then once you reverse it, it's going to sound like this. Then the second part comes a little bit later in the song. It's over here. And that's coming in on beats 7 and 8. Then the first part plays again here, and then it's following up with another part that comes in a little bit later. It's this part right here. So the whole sample playing together. And that's the sample. So this plays for 8 bars, and then we are introducing the 808 and the hi-hat. The 808 starts off really simple, but it is being panned to the right. So if we go into note properties and note pan, you'll see that it's being panned 61% to the right. And for effects, we're using Fruity Wave Shaper to increase the distortion by a little bit, then Ozone 9 Imager to stereoize the sound. If we open up a vector scope and we look at the original audio, it's gonna look like this. A normal 808 would look like this. It would be playing in mono and it would also be centered, but this one is being panned to the right and it's also being stereoized. So that's what we're doing with the remake. This plays with the hi-hat. And with the hi-hat, we're also going into note properties and note pan to make this little panning loop as well. And one way you can tell that this is the same as the original song is by comparing the waveforms. You can see that it matches really nicely with the original audio. Then after eight bars, we're introducing the kick and the snare. We have the identical kick, which is this really popular UK drill kick. And you can see it's identical just by comparing the waveforms. It matches perfectly with the original song. If we look at the official audio, we can see that the kick is clipping. There are two ways you can clip the kick. The first way is by going into your effects target and turning on clip and then taking up the boost. So the more you take up the boost, the more the kick will clip. So that's the first way. The second way is by going into your miscellaneous functions and turning up the volume multiplier, then route that to your mixer and use the native plugin Fruity Soft Clipper, and this will achieve the same effect. So the more we bring up the volume, the more the kick is gonna clip. The 808 also changes here, so we're using this new pattern. Then this is really interesting. It might've been done during the mastering stage, or maybe 808 Mellow is just a gun and he knows how to do everything. <laughs> so what we're doing is we are automating the stereo separation so that the 808 increases in stereo width at certain points during the song. Then we have the identical snare. And in context, it sounds like this. Then after another four bars, we're introducing a second snare. Then we're coming up to the chorus and we have this riser. Then we're moving into the chorus. We have this bell coming in. We have this stomp effect. 808 Mellow probably just added a delay to the sound, but you can do the same thing inside the piano roll by turning every note down in succession. So it's gonna sound like this. The 808 switches up here as well. Okay, let me take off this jacket. It's getting so hot. <laughs> Whoa, Mr. Calvin Klein. Then we have the second 808, which is a game changer. 
This 808 pattern does vary as the song plays. I won't go through all the patterns today, but here they are. This starts off as a grime 808. Then we're gonna go into Edison and make these loop points here, and then just go Control L. And this will loop the 808 so that it plays forever. Then we're just dragging that back into the audio clip, making sure Use Loop Points is selected, turning it to Resample, resetting the time, go to Envelope Settings, make sure you got this envelope, then just tune the 808 to F sharp, which I forgot to do in my Antidote remake. Basically every single one of my videos, there's always one gaping flaw. And with the Antidote remake, I forgot to tune the 808. So the notes that you were seeing in the piano roll were correct, but the notes that were playing were like three semitones off. Look, everyone makes mistakes, let's move on. This is what the 808 is gonna sound like without any external effects. Then for effects, we're adding first off RC20 Retro Color. We're adding a little bit of wobble, some EQ, then we're taking up the tone. So it's gonna sound like this. Then we're EQing out some of the lows and the highs. Then we're adding some Fruity Love Filter and we're using my favorite preset, which is Low Pass 2. Finally, we're adding Fruity Flanges and Fruity Reverb. So it's gonna sound like this. And in context, then after eight bars, we have this crazy fill coming in. So here we have a sword sound effect, some drill impacts, as well as this riser. And the kick changes as well. In the second half of the chorus, the bell sound comes in. The 808 changes here as well. And we also have this open hi-hat coming in. And once again, 808 Mellow probably just added some delay to this sound, but you can do the same thing by adding it to the piano roll. And after the chorus, we're just left with the sample, the 808, the stomp effect, and the second snare. And that's basically it. This section just repeats throughout the entire song. So once you get that down, you'll basically be able to make the entire thing. That's everything for Pop Smoke. Welcome to the party. The next video is Diplo. Welcome to the party. That video is coming out right now. I will leave a link to it up there and in the comments below if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the background music, you can check the channel and link down below. And if you want to get your own music on this channel, hit me up on Instagram at Aiden Kenway and I will use your music. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Boy.